This is the quaint suburban home where police say 13 siblings were held captive by their parents, some shackled to furniture with chains and padlocks, starving and dirty. Police say a 17-year-old jumped from a window and called 911. If you can imagine being chained to a bed, um, being malnourished and injuries associated with that, um, I would call that torture. David and Luis Turpin were arrested for torture and child endangerment. In contrast to photos on Facebook of a family who took trips to theme parks. Ranging in age from 2 to 29 years old, detectives originally thought seven adults were kids, they say, because they were so malnourished. It just breaks my heart. Luis Turpin's sister and brother tell NBC News exclusively they never knew their nieces and nephews could have been physically and psychologically tortured for years. I can't imagine what they've been through. I just want to hug them. I'm very angry with them, but then feel bad for the kids. Hi, David. Hi, David. First married when she was 16, they often renewed their vows with their children by their side. David Turpin worked as an engineer, making $140,000 a year, filing for bankruptcy in 2011. Kimberly Milligan lives next door. They looked pale, like vampire pale. And they were all thin? They were all thin. Tonight, a house of horrors in plain sight, where an unspeakable nightmare was playing out for 13 children. David Turpin had received state approval to run a private school from the home behind me, but officials say that home may have never been inspected because the state never had the legal requirement to do so. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.